بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو نیو سیریز آف لیکچرز آف اکنامکس دس از دا سبجیکٹ لیبر اکنامکس اینڈ وی ول ڈسکس ان شاء اللہ ان دا کمنگ لیکچرز فیو ٹاپکس آف دی لیبر اکنامکس آر ایشوز ان دی لیبر اکنامکس لیبر اکنامکس از ون آف دی امپورٹنٹ سبجیکٹس آف اکنامکس بیکاز دس از آل ریلیونٹ ٹو دا ہیومن کیپیٹل اینڈ وی نو دیٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا ویل نون اکانامسٹ دی لیبر دی دی ہیومن کیپیٹل از دی انجن آف اکانامک گروتھ سو موسٹ آف اس ول ایلوکیٹ سبسٹینشل فریکشن آف آور ٹائم ٹو دا لیبر مارکیٹ ہاؤ وی ڈو ان دا لیبر مارکیٹ ہیز ڈٹرمن اوور ویلتھ دا ٹائپس آف گڈز وی کین افورڈ ٹو کنزیوم with whom we associate, where we vacation, which schools our children attend, even the types of the person who find us attractive. So uh, we allocate uh, time to the uh, labor market. We sell our skills in the labor market. We sell our abilities in the labor market. Uh, we sell uh, uh, whatever capacities, whatever capabilities we have uh in the labor market because if we uh, sell this in the labor market we get in return some money some income and on the basis of this income we are wealthy or we are rich or we belong to the middle families uh, similarly the types of the uh, allocation of the, the type and nature of our work uh, this uh, determine what kind of the goods to produce what kind of services to provide. Uh, similarly, uh, if you want to have a vacation in some hill station, uh, which I often tell you uh, in the classes that I am interested in the vacations, so do I, I do allocate my services to the, you know, different uh, organizations in order to, uh, to uh, give my skills, um, I contribute my skills, they in return pay to me, and I go for the vacations to the Natya Gari, Karan, Naran, and uh, uh, wherever I want. So this means that uh, uh, all our efforts, uh, these are uh, uh, relevant to the labor market. So uh, labor, the labor economics uh, actually studies how a uh, labor market work. Our interest in the labor market arises not only from our personal environment, but also because many policy issues concern the labor market experiences of particular groups of workers are uh, various aspects of the employment relationship between workers and firms. Uh, the, the, the study of this uh, uh, subject, uh, in this, these lectures you will find uh, that uh, uh, this, all the, all the subjects uh, relate the contribution of the workers to the firms and uh, the, uh, the the payment, uh, the benefits, uh, the, the, all the contributions which uh, the firm make to the labor in the return. So, uh, there are many definitions of economics. A similar definition is uh, labor economics examines the organization, functioning, and outcome of labor market. How the labor market are organized how they function and what are its outcome we do study in the labor economics the decision of prospective and present labor market participants and the public policies related to the employment and private of labor resources so what does it study it study uh, the organi organization of the labor force the functioning of the labor force what kind of a contribution they make and uh, uh, outcomes of the labor market similarly the uh, how much uh, labor to imply, how the wage are determined in the market, how different uh, labor uh, types of the labor contribute, uh, what uh, the different age groups contribute, uh, is there any gender uh, discrimination in the labor market? We do all uh, study all these in the uh, labor economics. So. Uh, we can say labor economics is the study of working and outcome of market of labor. It is mainly concerned with the behavior of employees, employers and employees. 
uh, in response to wages, prices, profit, working condition. Students, we are uh, discussed in the last slide that uh, whatever do study, this is uh, the uh, policies, the labor, and the firms. So, uh, uh, in short, we can say that the labor economics uh, do study the relationship between the employers and in employees uh, for the uh, determination of the wage rate, the prices, the profit, and the working conditions. We will study in the uh, coming lectures uh, that uh, the um, uh, the labor do uh, do do the labor uh, through the labor unions. They do bargain with the uh, firms for the wage determination for the employment and for the uh, other benefits. So the labor economics is the study of the relationship between wages and employment opportunities. The interaction among wage income and decision to work. They do decide how much to supply, how to increase the demand of uh, the labor, how to increase the wage rate, how to fix the wage rate. Uh, all these are determined by jointly by the employers and the employers. The way wages, prices and profit affect occupational choices is studied in the labor economics. Similarly, labor economics do study the incentives for and effects of educational and training investment. We know that different uh, uh, organizations, they educate their labor, they give training to the labor, especially uh, those uh, especially those uh, organizations where do we find uh, the the uh, the uh, skilled uh, labor when the new uh, labor come to them uh, to join the firm they send them for the training or if the uh, sometimes the machinery is updated the equipment is updated the capital updated then there is need for the training so we do study all this the labor economics the effect of uh, the unions on wage, productivity, and turnover. Uh, we have uh, mm, uh, a chapter, uh, a lecture in the coming uh, days in which we will study the uh, labor unions and uh, their role in the wage determination, the productivity, and how turnover takes place uh, in the labor market. The effect of the social policies uh, uh, on the wage and employment uh, it employs the environment of workers uh, uh, and employers uh, through their organization and the government information and implication of policies in shows economic, social, and labor uh, fields. Labor economics studies the demand and supply for the most important factor of production, the human beings. How much uh, uh, labor to supply, how much uh, labor is demanded, uh, this is uh, done in the labor market and all this is studied by the labor economics. Uh, we will study how, what is the demand for labor, who demand the labor and who supply the labor. So, and how equilibrium is uh, determined in the labor market and how uh, this, what, 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 it, what are the outcomes of this equilibrium. Since the days of the Martin and of Smith, if not earlier, the economists have recognized that one cannot analyze the market for labor without taking into account uh, such issues as social relation of production, long-term contractual agreements, arrangements, a problem of the effort and motivation, as well as institutions like unions and internal labor markets, which differentiate the labor market from uh, abodes. Uh, for many years, recognition of the, these factors made labor economics an area in which the economic theory was applied uh, sparingly. Uh, and in the which the institution in which is dominated. So the students we do study in the labor economics uh, 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 how the firms contribute to the labor, how the labor contribute to the firm, how long the market is determined the labor market, and uh, uh, how short term um, uh, 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 equilibrium is the determined in the uh, labor market, how wages are determined, how the supply of labor is fixed, how the demand for labor is uh, fixed. Uh, according to the uh, Chakraborty, the term labor may refer to employment of any kind. Manual labor, physical work done by the people, or wage labor delivery of services by person for payment. So, Chakraborty defines uh, labor uh, as any kind of the employment which may be 
the work done, physical work done for the production of the goods or the provision of the services. So, in economics, labor is a measure of work done by human beings. It is conventionally constructed with such factors of production as land and labor. Labor is actually uh, labor and capital. Labor is actually the contribution made by humans to the uh, production. Uh, we know that there are we have uh, four factors of production, so labor is one of the important factors. Labor may be defined as an exertion of the mind and body undergone partly or wholly to get some good other than pleasure derived from directly from work. This means that what is labor? Uh, we have defined so many times. Uh, in the subject of the microeconomics that uh, labor means all mental and physical work all mental and physical work undertaken for some monetary reward uh, now uh, the uh, the layer do not uh, uh, have the monetary reward so that is not labor the term labor economics may be defined as the study of the organization uh, institutions as well as behavior of labor market in an in industrial economy in words of the order, labor economics is basically concerned with efficient utilization, also the conservation of manpower and resources. It studies and seeks to realize or understand the process by which manpower is applied and also utilized in the modern economy. Uh, we have uh, another definition uh, of the labor economics that uh, labor economics is the branch of economics which studies the workings and outcomes of the market for labor services. Uh, labor economics deals with the behavior of employers and employees to the pecuniary uh, means wages, prices, profit, and uh, non-pecuniary uh, uh, like working conditions, work environment aspects of employment relationship, firms operate in uh, relationship. Uh, firms operate in three markets as they pursue their objectives of profit maximization, the labor market, the capital market, and the product market. So, summarizing the definition, we can say that uh, labor economics is the branch of economics which studies the working and the outcome of uh, the uh, labor, uh, the provision of the labor services, the dealings between the employers and employees for the fixation of the wages, uh, profit, and prices. Uh, the demand for and the supply of the labor, including the welfare of the labor. So, I hope uh, you may have uh, uh, learned some uh, from something about the labor economics from uh, this economic uh, this lecture, and hopefully, you may be able to uh, define the economics after watching this lecture. Uh, see you in the next lecture, inshallah. Uh, thank you very much.